Hey everybody, welcome to another Rod Squad Retro Reviews. We finally made it to another retro store that we found here in Florida. This one is in Longwood, Florida, not too far off from where we're staying in Orlando. Every time we come in to wherever we're going on vacation, we like to look around and try to find our retro shops or, or video game shops and just to see what's going on. Well, this is another one we found and, and we're gonna see if it's a gem. So far from what I saw online, it was really, really nice. And I definitely wanna take a look inside. I spoke to uh, the proprietor, his name is Braulio. I hope I'm not messing up your name, buddy. Um, uh, he gave us permission to record a uh, video down here and do a, a thoughts video. So again, this is Royal Empire Gaming located in Longwood, Florida. So we're gonna go ahead inside real quick and take a look and see what we got. So let's go inside. And here we go. Just love that retro smell. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, we have some uh, some guitars here for uh, Guitar Hero. Right, babe? Guitar Hero. And there she is. She's hiding. She's always in, in the mix looking for things. JD. We got our cutie cutie niece Cecily who's with us down here um, how you doing guys right right so we're taking a look at the showroom actually it's not very big but what what I like about it it's from what I see it's they make the most out of the space that they have and everything looks neat everything looks packed and right in, in, in nice places um, some some locations you've seen in the past we've been to horror shows um, because of, of how they have everything uh, display but here it looks really really nice everything is in its place pretty much if you're looking for anything specific you'll find it there's a corner for it we have a lot of SNES games right here in front of us right here uh, nice little controllers here All right over here we have a little show what we got here baby we got show we got some 3do games right here some um, game gears we got game gear games in the bottom down here All right, let's see I would think that these are, since these are in, in behind in the glass casing, these are probably the more expensive ones we have. We have a lot of different accessories, as you can see. Different power adapters, controllers, wires. Always love to have wires and get them. What do you think, babe, so far? Mm -hmm. Nice? You don't come here for the Atari, don't I? Mm -hmm. Right? Big Atari guy. Have you played Atari today? Over here we have some uh, PlayStation games, right? Over here we have a small section of Atari games which I will definitely be looking into. With all the Atari games that I have, sometimes it's hard to find something I don't have or something that I don't necessarily want. Um, this Omega Race looks interesting. Omega Race. That looks interesting. Everything's individually priced, as you can see. Um, I was looking for Pitfall 2 also. Hard to find Pitfall 2. I, for some reason, I don't have that one. But uh, yeah, a small section. We have some Intellivision games also down here. We have some loose carts and some carts that are uh, in the package. You know, down here we have what is that? A video game system, Coleco. Got some DVDs over here. DVDs. I like the uh, Mario. Right there. Let's see what we got here. Like some manga stuff right here. Dreamcast. Yeah, Dreamcast. I've been looking for this guy. Okay, I guess I got him now. All right, as you can see, I picked up a couple of uh, of uh, 7800 games. Looking for that Donkey Kong. Um, give me some engineer, please. All right, so let's see. A lot of PS2 games. PS2 is possibly my, is most likely my favorite system. Of, of all um, just because of what it brought the display and everything as soon as games got to the point that you had to download and and, and consistently uh, uh, every time you turn on a system it has to upload something and, and it, it was always a bother for me I was never a big fan of this big fan of that so so we have that we have some guitar here here we have some GameCube games so as I said everything is in its own section which makes it a plus when everything is in its own section, it makes it easy for you to find what you need. So, again, it's not the biggest place, but again, they make the most of all the space that they have, which is awesome. On top, you see some steering wheels up there. I love my steering wheels. 
I love to have the arcade feeling at home. So all these accessories, like steering wheels or the uh, arcade sticks, they, they do do that for me. All right, got some Wii stuff right here. We have some uh, some old manuals, walkthroughs. Toys R Us, the ultimate code book. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Just because it says Toys R Us on it, it's gonna become part of our group. Just because it says Toys R Us on it. It's a code book. That's pretty cool, no? Sweet, sweet, sweet. Now, here's where we start looking at some of the retro things that I really, really am into. Uh, it has a Pong over there in the corner, see if you can see it. Uh, a four-way video game. I'm not sure what that is. The CDX is pretty awesome. He doesn't have a power, he says, the power adapter for it. I'm not exactly sure what power adapter would work with that. Sweet. I'm not sure what that is right there. Oh, the centipede. Handheld centipede. Over here we have some of these. Jay, what do you call these again? What do you call these again? Skylanders. The Skylanders, okay. Yeah, Jay had a couple of these. And the infinity is on top. We just met Chewie yesterday. He was a nice guy. He ate up all our food though. All right. Good Genesis section. So again, everything is in a section, so it does make it easy for you to find what you're looking for. Not sure what this is right here. Excuse me. The power plug. Make any Genesis controller the ultimate weapon. Ah, oh, okay. So it probably gives you the. Uh, so you can add probably turbo and all those type of things to it. It's pretty cool. Ooh, put this back in here. Always find it. Put it back the way you found it. Again, this is Royal Empire uh, Gaming here in Longwood, Florida. And another showcase. She found something. Whenever she's making her noise, she found something. Pretty, pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. And on top, see if I showed you guys on top. Is that a storm? Yes. That's, that's thunder? That's not yep. thunder, is it really? It sounds like somebody's upstairs. Isn't that crazy? Okay, so we have an SNES up there. We have a trackball, but we just got you. We got you already. Nice. All the different systems on top. The Alba Interactor. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and shop around and give our final thoughts. All right, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up our video today here at uh, Royal Empire Gaming in Longwood. Right, Longwood, Florida. This is the proprietor. His name is Braulio. I'm Braulio. saying it correct? Yes, sir. Braulio is a really helpful guy. And then I got Brandon who's helping him here today also. And they actually helped me and uh, find something that I was after for some time. Actually, you guys already know that I'm a big fan of the Atari 7800. Well, guess what? I just picked up a 7800 that I don't have to mod. It's already AV modded. And Braulio was kind enough to let me know that it was <laughs> and tested it with me. And it worked out really, really nice. Been looking for my Donkey Kong. I got my Donkey Kong, which I mentioned earlier on the video and I got my Donkey Kong Jr. to go along with it so that bad boy is coming home with us to New York and we also picked up a couple of extra pieces here we picked up a Dreamcast Namco Museum you guys know how much I enjoy that so I'll be doing another review of that I also picked up something really interesting which I'm gonna definitely try this is actually a connection that we have for the ColecoVision what it does is you connect a Atari controller or a Sega controller to this a Sega Genesis controller and use the keypad right here and you can play your um, your ColecoVision using those controllers which is awesome because you guys know I'm not a big fan of the ColecoVision controllers we also picked up a Toys R Us and I definitely want to do it just for the sentimental value Toys R Us ultimate code book has quite a few different codes in this we'll definitely be looking through that even though you might call us cheaters for it so what I don't care I'm, get, I'm able to enjoy the game to the fullest. And again, we're going to do one last go around real quick. As you can see in the front right here, he has quite a few uh, Guitar Hero uh, guitars up there. He has walkthroughs, different walkthroughs. He has a section. Again, he uses the most of what he has as far as space is concerned. He has the Wii over here, some Wii U games. We have some Xbox 360 games. Right behind me, we have some N64 games. And I like... I'm not sure why Flash would be using the bike, but we'll leave that alone right now. Um, 360. Then we have some PS3 games. 
wall again making the most of the space that you have the nightmares is when you go into certain locations and you want to find something and everything is kind of thrown around he has a ni nice little modern piece to it right here you got some ps4 games right here and some xbox ones we have some other different accessories on the bottom as you can see over here we have a ps2 area which i'm a big fan of the ps2 also i've been off for that for a while but i'm definitely will be getting back to it behind me we have some nes carts we got some advantages on the bottom down here over here we have some ps1 ps1 titles pretty cool i picked up a dreamcast so you can see my dreamcast uh namco museum I'm a big fan of the namco museum so i'll be doing a video of that one just so i can compare all of them down here we have a small little section with some atari games some 7800s which i was able to find my 7800s we also have some uh, Atari carts here also Atari carts over here the section I mean the selection is not really big but it's always a pleasure even when whatever they have I get a chance to look and find something the biggest thing about Atari is that being that my collection is pretty big um, when I find something that I don't have it's always a pleasure on top right here we have some more uh, we have an Odyssey box right there as a matter of fact Odyssey in the box Odyssey 2 we have uh, some more different things we have a ps2 in the box right here another ps2 pretty cool ps3 over here we have some more accessories as you can see more joysticks you know i love those you guys know that all right really really nice some action figures over here down here we have some oh you know what i completely passed it guys for all the fans of the game boys and the different game boy uh, uh ds ds is uh well, we have a small little section here with games. Pretty cool. Over here we have some more titles. Some more games. Really, really cool. Really cool. Again, I can't say uh, how much of a pleasure it is to, to go into one of these places and find it find it being as uh, as easily to, to get around and find the things that you want. So that to me is pretty, pretty big. We have some, uh, look like some uh, Coleco games in yeah, in uh, complete in case, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Got some Game Gears right here. Got some GameCube games back here. Again, these are probably the more, more expensive ones. Again, a wall of accessories. Wall of accessories. Wires, adapters, uh, you know, controllers, joysticks. Can't be complete without these things. On top, you have some more sections. So, again, I'm, I'm really pleased with... Uh, with our uh, trip down here to Longwood, Florida, to Royal Empire Gaming. I hope you guys enjoy this. I know it's a pretty lengthy video, but I d definitely want to give them the opportunity so I could showcase what they have and how nice they have it. So, and they were very, very friendly and were able to help me. And I got a chance to find a 7800 that I do not have to mod. I've been wanting to mod the one I have at home. I did not have to mod it. And uh, I actually have it now modded. Down here, just one more time, we have another uh, Odyssey right here. We have Odyssey at home, the junior. The one system that I'm looking for and I'll find eventually will be the Telegames VCS that was sold by Sears. And that's, that one seems to be a guy that's been getting away from me. And back here we have some more controllers. So really, really nice. If you guys in the area, in Orlando, look up Royal Empire Gamings. Uh, just Google them. They pop up really, really quick. And um, it's along with Florida. Trust me when I tell you, you definitely, I definitely, Longwood, Longwood, Florida. And I definitely wanted to give them the opportunity to showcase what they have. Definitely come down here. Fully recommend by Rod Squad Retro Reviews. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, thanks again to Braulio and Brandon. Right? You guys are the best. As always, guys, what do we say? Keep it retro.